Back to back, fantastic weather days, blue skies, little in the way of cloud cover. We hit 78 this afternoon. All right, here's our weather maker as we're going forward. We have a richer high pressure that's kind of building in. The high is shifting to the east along with the low. They kind of work in tandem. That's the system we dealt with yesterday. 40 right now at the Monroe Regional Airport. Visibility not an issue. Some of the other locations that are at airports are experiencing some issues. The winds out of the northwest, that's helping in the, uh, the drying process. The gradual moisture, you see when you look here, Really, it doesn't really, you know, <laughs> allude to moist air right now. It's really dry. It's a gradual process, but look as we go from now to Friday night, how it kind of amps up here a bit. No real anomalies across the country right now. Pretty typical mid-December weather. You got Miami nice at 71. You got to go to the extremes, also the southwest, to see some milder temperatures. Warmest spot in the U.S. yesterday, Homestead, Florida hit 86. All right, I want to take you around the globe here a little bit. The holidays are here. And on this edition of Get It Growing, LSU Egg Center horticulturist Heather Kirk Ballard tells you how to select a Christmas tree and also how to care for it. You could probably make out the snowflakes coming down. They're uh, very large, it's wet. It, it's kind of gone from rain to snow and back. It's snow now. And I spoke with PetSmart Reading General Manager Randy Mossbacher today about some suggestions on spotting stress in your pets and also how to help de-stress them. The dam itself is probably about you know, 1,067 feet up. And so we're probably about 1,200 feet up. It's kind of a chilly night. But anyway, on point, the Shasta Dam area has received about uh, six inches of rain over the last 72 hours. All right, things I learned by watching SpongeBob SquarePants, huh? Starfish. I'm going to St stick with that. I'm going to put one on the board today. All right, and I'm sticking with Seahorse this morning. A chilly start, no matter where you are. I got a backup. You know, I have a. St I like the story on the porch pirate deal. Yeah. And I had this word visual, like if somebody actually had the uh, audacity to try that on you, I could just see you doing a Clint Eastwood <laughs> on them. So, do you feel lucky? Well, do you? All right. 6.47 right now. Here's the Creed and Creed Tower Cam. Glad you're with us for Good Morning Arkelis. I'm meteorologist Jeff Andrews. Pretty overcast right now. Low clouds especially. Let's brighten it up. I love Christmas lights. Great shot. 40. I wish I could say I took it. 40 right now. El Dorado Monroe. It's 43. It's in the 40s for the most part. The cloud cover has kind of held us up. Here's the Arklamas outlook, though. Drier conditions ahead and even some sunshine, too. A nice weekend. We're going to see some warmer temperatures, too. The weekend and even later on next week. I'll show you. Cloud cover right now is what we're seeing. It's going to make its way out. Our weather maker, it's high pressure building in. This is what we uh, dealt with yesterday. It's moved off to the east. High pressure, as I mentioned. That is our upcoming weather maker as we get uh, later on into the weekend. Here's what we have on Sunday. A cold front approaches and passes. With that, probably a little more cloud cover but really that's about it. Now we do have a shot at seeing some rain I want to show you. It's an outside chance here. This morning it's a lot of cloud cover. We go through the day. It's pretty cloudy at the mid portion of the day as well as you can see here. Later on this afternoon you see we're getting a little bit of sunshine. Perfect right right towards sunset. Or we come around tomorrow morning more cloud cover to start the day. We go through your day the clouds here and there. Six o'clock when the fireworks on the bridge take place. At that point, the skies are clear, mainly across the Arklamas, but especially when you go north of Interstate 20. Here's where you're seeing the cloud cover. Now, all right, this is Saturday night, clear skies. We come back around. Now, here's when there could be some rain. This is late Saturday night, actually early Sunday morning. Our southeastern parishes could see some sprinkles. So if this shifts a little bit, Potential of seeing some light rain is there, system to our south and west. By the time we get to the end of Sunday, though, it's clear skies once again. As far as the rain popping up, this model, this one is not the most reliable, but I wanted to show you regardless. It is showing some rain creeping in of the lighter variety on Saturday across the Arklamas. Got lights to hang, stuff outside. Go for it. Yes, I would do it today. Do it during the daylight hours, preferably. The weekend will be good too. All right, as far as our highs today, probably about 57 under mainly cloudy skies today. Voting day tomorrow. Nice day to get out. It's be a little crisp to start the day. We're going to be in the low 30s. Pretty frosty in some spots. Lunchtime 57. Later on in the afternoon, we lose the daytime heating. After sunset, we drop back. Polls close around 8 o'clock. It'll be in the 40s at that point. 62, your high for Saturday. Pretty close to the same situation as we look at Sunday. 
Now with that cold front approaching, the clouds here and there really, now that's not Saturday, that's Sunday, but I still think we're going to be around 60 for the high on Sunday. In the wake of the cool front on Monday, Cooler high temperature is about 55. Normal this time of year is about 62. Then we start the warming process. Look at that Wednesday and Thursday. Sunshine, middle 70s. All right, what do you think? That's what's ahead here. Officially sunrise around 652 this morning. Right now, we're at 646, making our way towards 7 o'clock at Good Morning Arklamas. Glad you're with us today. It's on the chilly side, need I say. Step outside. We're in the 20s across the board. El Dorado 24, Ruston 27. You get the general idea. It's 20s. Not record setting, but it's chilly. Average overnight low is about 40 this time of year. Welcome to December. All right, here's how we wrapped up November. Dry. We saw just shy of an inch and a half of rain. Normally, we get about five inches of rain. Our coldest day was yesterday morning. We bottomed at 37, had a couple days in 38. Overall, it was a little bit warmer than what we typically see for November. Average high was close to 60. Normally, it's like 56 and a half. All right, with that said, we have a freeze warning in place. This is all of the Arklamas, as you see here. And it, you know, technically goes through about 9 o'clock this morning. Now, there's watches, advisories, warnings. Let me give you some terms here. A frost advisory, temperatures between 32 and 36 degrees. A freeze watch, potentially below 32 degrees. A hard freeze below 28 degrees is kind of what we're looking at here. Likely widespread. And when you hear the term warning, imminent, all right, the, the uh, percent of it happening is very high. It's imminent or it's occurring. We're at 28 degrees right now. Sky conditions, it's clear. The winds are light. All the ingredients are there, really. Seasonally cool as we go through today and really through the week. Tomorrow, rainy, breezy. Then we go back to dry conditions. Still seasonally cool, though, but it gets a little bit better. All right. High pressure, that's what's driving things right now. Here's what we have going forward. This is on Wednesday, primarily in the afternoon when it starts affecting the Arklamas in the form of rain as we go through Wednesday afternoon through really kind of the middle part of Thursday. Here's what we have right now, though. Clear skies and later on this afternoon, uh, not too bad. You know, we'll be in the 50s, but at this hour, you know, we're dropping back, of course. Clear skies, but you see the cloud cover moving in. We get passing cloud cover. Here's how things look early tomorrow morning. We start to see a little more cloud cover moving in to the Arklamas west to east with a little bit of rainfall. And you kind of see where the heavier rainfall potential is, at least. I don't necessarily think it's going to be heavy rainfall. It's going to be on and off. And really, Monroe and to the east, it doesn't look like an impressive amount of rainfall as I go through. Now, but look at this. This is Thursday as we get into the afternoon hours. It's finally when it clears the Arklamas at that point. So kind of a slow duration event here. Rainfall totals, this is what we're looking at roughly here. You see the higher amounts. That's still about a half inch or so, El Dorado and Ruston, about a quarter inch of rain or so for Monroe. All right, here's where we're headed today after a, a pretty chilly start in the 20s. We're gonna make our way, we'll warm up fairly quick into the 50s by the time we get towards the uh, noon hour today. And then we'll you know, make it up probably around the 56 degree mark this afternoon. With light winds, you know, the sunshine to your back, it's actually not going to feel too bad. Tonight, middle 30s, a little more cloud cover. Tomorrow, got the rain coming into play. We'll probably hit about 55 for the high. It's going to be windy tomorrow, too. A southerly breeze could have gusts 20, maybe even 25 miles an hour on your Wednesday. We begin the dry out on Thursday, but still a rain chance in the morning, high of 53. But as we go Friday and through the weekend, a little bit better. More sunshine and some warmer temperatures.